to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. The Franchise Revolution starts now. This is the Finn on Football Radio Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Finn on Football Radio Show covering all things Premier Madden League exclusively here on the Sports Gamers Online Network. So, I'm your host, Finn. Good to have you guys back. If you missed us last time, this is a radio show covering the Premier Madden League. What is that? There's a PlayStation 4 connected franchise Madden League. That's your boy, the natural from Sports Gamer Online, is the Baltimore Ravens in and currently is on top of the AFC standings. Power rankings got released today, written up by Lions, the Detroit Lions user. Lions is nefarious. So let's kind of go a little bit through the top five. We're going to start at five, work our way down to number one. He's got the Green Bay Packers. He says, with Aaron Rodgers healthy, it is a shock to see the Packers at 11-1. and one. Competition's high for the 11-1 and one user is sitting at five. They dropped this week because they lost to the Seahawks, who are, we're going to talk a little bit about later. Um, and it looks like their biggest struggle, if they have a struggle at 11-5, and five, is going to be the defensive side of the football. So can they win those close, grind-out games where maybe Aaron's struggling a little bit for him and he needs a big play on defense? Number four – and one of the league's top offensive passing, passing offense is, is uh, the New York Giants. And uh, they've benched Eli Manning. They've been going with Kyle Aletta from Richmond. Uh, they've been pretty dominant through the air. Uh, probably one of the only teams in the league that's with the plus, uh, on the plus side of the ratio in terms of touchdown interceptions. Um, would like to see if they can continue and improve. They, they're, they got a tough division, right? They got the Cowboys in a division, another really top team. So, um, I think they lost the original matchup. I don't know if they've replayed yet, but that's going to be a one, a big one to look out for if you've been following all the Twitch streams for the Premier Madden League. Third, we got the Dallas Cowboys, and, and they've kind of mimicked what they do in real life, which is just kind of pound the football. They don't really have too big of a, a receiving threat. And just really the, the name of their game has been uh, turnovers. You know, they're, they're one of the top user linebackers in the league. Uh, Anthony is a really talented team. Um, it's, it's really going to be tough between them and the Giants if they can really force the Giants to, to, to run the football. I mean, you don't really want to have to, like, force Saquon Barkley into 18 to 20 touches. But if you can stop the league's best passing offense, they're looking in good shape for the playoffs. So sitting at third is the Dallas Cowboys. Number two, after defeating the Green Bay Packers, we have the Seattle Seahawks and probably the biggest threat and, and probably the biggest um, matchup I would like to see come Super Bowl time will be Seattle. Uh, versus the Nationals Ravens. So I kind of gave away who's in first there, but really the big thing is uh, going to be the Ravens scheme versus Russell Wilson, who we talked about last time has got over 20 interceptions just through, I think at the time it was like eight or nine weeks. So despite turning the ball over at a ridiculous rate, um, they're top five in defensive points. Um, I mean, really they're just a, uh, a dominant defense overall, and that puts them at number two in the power rankings because defense wins championships. And, of course, at number one, we have the Baltimore Ravens still having an identity crisis at the quarterback position, but they're having no crises on defense. Since trading for Brandon Graham, like we talked about last time, they have been absolutely dominant. They're the only undefeated team left. The closest team to even being as good as them in their, I mean, even division would be the Steelers, and that's controlled by the CPU. So I think that's a good time to plug in that. If you're interested in joining the Premier Madden League, go to join.premiermadden.com, pick up those Steelers, and show Ravens how to play some football. Because for now, he's got no competition. He's undefeated. He found a way to get the Colts kicked out. And uh, only the Seahawks and the Cowboys are really the only teams that we can really see them uh, giving, him a, giving him the hard loss. And that might not come to the playoff time. That's all we got this week on the Finn Football Radio Show. More chat uh, malarkey coming up next time. More of the in-depth look into some of these teams as we get closer to the playoffs and some of the big matchups that are going to be going on. As always, I'm Finn, and you've been listening to the Finn on Football Radio Show. Welcome back, sports game. It was week 13 of the Premier League. Um, had a rough game last week versus the Raiders, and this week we have the Falcons. Had some major injuries again to the team which is really really tough um pretty upsetting because the fact that judon actually went out and he was in the running for defensive player of the year one of the best young players on the team just balling out this year he's out for six weeks who totally kills his chances of any defensive awards he was going to win all pro probably pretty much anything same thing brandon williams having a good season 
one of the better players on the team and he is out as well so two really key starters injured you know played the whole first of my season you guys been following along without any tight ends have had a bunch of injuries along the way it's just just takes the wind out of the sails of the defense dropped from a 91 to a 89 overall so i've got to make some i gotta make some moves uh, to to kind of cover up for that i i'm not sure if i want pierce how it's set up i think i'm gonna move pierce back to dt for now and then i think i'm gonna move suggs mm. no I, I can't i can't even move suggs to dn because i already I already have williams williams will step in and cover for judon if i move if i move suggs i'll have two backup offensive linebackers wow yeah i can't even do that Looks like Valentine's gonna have to hold it down. Let's let's take a look on the depth chart and see how we're gonna really uh you know it's gotta be next man up on the team and, and see how we're what's the best way to kind of scheme around losing two two basically Pro Bowl players at the in the same game. And you know, don't get me wrong, Ra Raiders is a good team, a good good coach, whatever, but to to lose it in a meaningless game with a game that really I mean you know, versus the own 10 Ray wasn't even like a marquee matchup or something. Like they got lost for like no reason. That's just kind of makes it even worse. So really frustrating. So let's say maybe even Henry could step up or Simon. Yeah, I'm thinking. I think I'm gonna move Henry to start. That looks like the move there. Henry to start, and then move Pierce inside. And an outside linebacker um, go with um, Williams. Yeah, let's do that. Because Williams was balling out before uh, he went out. Now, you know, I, sh I should move him to the other side because he was better at the other side. All right, we're going to go Williams there. And then we're going to go T-Sizzle. On the other side here. Alright. And we can always change this. We can always change. We'll see how it works uh, this week versus the Falcons. And I think I'm gonna start Henry. So take Pierce out. Go with Henry here, and then I'm gonna go with Williams. Sorry. No, not Graham. We're gonna go up Pierce and move him to the inside here. I actually like Valentine, but he's more of like a pass rusher type guy than a um, like run stopper. But Pierce can do it all. Pierce can do it both. Yeah, 89 block shedding, 86 power move. Yeah, Valentine is uh, 82 power move, 82. Yeah, he's actually actually a good you know he's he's a good young young DT. He's a good young DT. Eventually, uh, as Williams gets a little bit older, I can definitely move on and start using Valentine even more. He's, he's definitely promising. And he's got, uh, he's not the fastest guy, but he's got some good, not the strongest guy either, but he's got some moves. Dude's got some moves there. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that'll cover the holes here with that. And, you know, Mosley doing his thing still. So we're gonna just let's just pick up, you know, next man up, man up on the defense. These guys are gonna be out, you know, five and six. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be out, but uh, you know, they'll be back. Uh, at least one will be back before the playoffs. You know, the defense is is, is just gotta pick up the slack. Gotta pick up the slack. Let's see where we're going here. They're killing it. Um, so yeah, let, let's go ahead and get to some gameplay. That's pretty much it. That's the let's take a look the the rearranged defense there. Um, yeah, that, that's, I think that's the best one. If you guys think anything else, any other configurations or setups you think will make sense and look good, let me know in the comments below. You know, I always listen to you guys' feedback. I've made changes in, in the team from your feedback in the comments. So let me know if this looks good to you guys. Um, let's see some action from this revamped, forcibly revamped defense of the Ravens this week's game. Let's get it right into some gameplay. Starting right off, the Ravens have the ball. Flacco dropping back and throwing an absolute dart out to Snead. 
four. Big game on the corner route, and the Ravens are on the move. Lamar Jackson hands off up the middle to Collins, and he just rumbles down to the six-yard line, talks out to Collins, makes a man miss, but it's just stopped short, and the Ravens have to settle for an extra point, going up 3-2-0. And we have the Falcons offense on the field. And everyone is wondering who will score more points, Julio Jones or the Ravens defense. I think the Ravens defense has a better chance to find the end zone. Take it right over Lamar Jackson, drops back, and he finds his running back underneath for a touchdown as Dixon spikes it and gets his celebration on in the end zone. The Ravens go up 10-0. Looked like they're sending some pressure on third and three. Matt Ryan drops back and he throws an absolute rifle pass down there all the way down to the 24 yard line. Ryan again, nice pass to Hooper and he breaks the tackle and the big tight end won't go down. He's knocked out of bounds at the six yard line. The Falcons in the red zone and he throws the, to the fullback there who does not get in. The Ravens defense stands up and keeps him out of the end zone so they must settle for three. Up by seven points, the Baltimore offense takes over and throws Collins out to the flat, but it is nothing doing, nothing going on. Third and long for Lamar Jackson, dropping back. He's looking for a man, and he takes a sack. Looks like a coverage sack there by the Falcons defense. Falcons take over, handle off the middle. Look at Freeman breaking tackles. Not much run of room against the Ravens defense, but he got a nice nine-yard gain there. Brings up a second and one. They're playing close to the line, and he throws right out there, intercepted by Smith, and he is off to the races, and we might be right. No one's going to catch him. Gets in the end zone, and I might be totally right about that. The Ravens defense might <laughs> score a touchdown, and Julio Jones probably won't. Second and 10, dropping back. Lamar Jackson going deep, and he finds his favorite target, Brown, who's off to the races. He has been great in the second half of the season, using that speed to get behind defenders. Can the Falcons answer Matt Ryan play action? He's going deep, one-on-one, -on -one, and it is batted down. Incomplete, third and 12. Ryan, he's surveying, stepping up in the pocket. He's scrambling. Stops and he gets hit. Back to the Ravens. Dropping back in the pocket. Throws a touch pass and they're playing volleyball out there. Wrong sport. Incompletion. Third and ten. Lamar Jackson drops back. Steps up in the pocket, but he's taken down by Crawford. Good pressure up the middle. Takes Jackson down. But the Ravens are still up big in the fourth quarter. 24 to 3. Matt Ryan is running around there. He's throwing deep. He's going. And it is a score. Touchdown. 24 to 10. Jackson throws to the oh. Incomplete down third and third and ten. Falcons take over. Last chance shot at the end zone. Ryan drops back. Throws a laser that's just picked off by Humphrey. And that is it. The Falcons 4 to the Ravens, 24 to 10. 276 yards by the Falcons, only 30 rushing yards. And they did have four takeaways. The Ravens, 201 passing yards, 123 rushing yards. As the defense plays well enough and the offense plays well enough to get Baltimore another win. And they stay undefeated. Have some player upgrades this week, Marlon Humphrey. 83 overall he is an 82 man to man gonna keep that going boost that man to man up plus two man coverage there plus two as well on his other coverage abilities we're gonna keep working on that secondary kenneth dixon in the running game 74 overall elusive back we like that we're gonna keep that power back going because he is used as the power back on the team so need to keep that going, need to keep him up on that. And Anthony Everett, which I have seen some PT later in the season. Oh, look at that. He's going up, wearing his man coverage, play wreck. So that is it for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, and tune in next week for more Madden 19 in the Ravens franchise series.
Please, 